What is up all you beautiful sexy nerds? It is I, Reverend Grizzly McBee, and you are watching and listening to the Nerd is New Sexy Entertainment Podcast number 133. I have an amazing guest with me tonight. I'm not a guest. The one, the only, Wildfire One. <laughs> when did this podcast not become mine? You're you're stealing it from me. Uh, <gasps> I would never <laughs> lies. I'm a guest all of a sudden. Temporarily commandeering. <laughs> Temporarily, I am Wildfire One, guys. Now, I am with the Wildfire One, the founder, godfather, father, just creator, wild. just mastermind wild. behind it all. Just wild. Just the wild. wild one. Bond, James Bond. So we're we're just gonna nerd chat today. We've it's been a bit. We're gonna talk about uh, stuff to expect. What we've been up to during uh, this crazy year. If if some of the podcast and hasn't already told you what we've got coming up for ourselves, not not just necessarily with the uh, with the the project, the Nerds New Sexy Entertainment, but you know a little bit about what we got going on in our personal lives. Why things are so hectic on why certain things aren't going to be happening this year. Yeah. We got the, uh, uh, the pandemic, if that's what you want to call it. Wow. Uh, s- screwing up a lot of our work lives. Work lives, uh, you know. A lot of the issue is we're not getting paid like we used to. Right. More or less. Uh, that, that's the big thing. Uh, which is uh, and the fact that this is all going down, things are being canceled like uh, we had plans on going to three or four different comic cons this year uh, they were all canceled of course uh, so we didn't get to do that we were going to do videos for all those do more interviews because uh, people enjoy it when we interview them and oh, uh, yeah and we have fun and we've met a few really cool people doing it yeah um, you know that that artist kid at the, at the portable comic Con. Uh, Emilio I think that his name kid was. yes Emilio that kid was amazing. Dead, Lady Deadpool Fresno, Deadpool Fresno, uh, yes, Closet Cause, uh, a lot of a lot oh, of really yeah. cool people we've met. Um, it's it's, it, and we want to meet more people. Like the Ohana Comic Con, shout out to you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, oh yeah, and, and and they love it when we come out. I mean, we we message them beforehand. Hey, we're gonna come out. Is it cool? The if nerds we will be showing up. If, is it cool if you know we we interview some people? If we interview, have you we guys? messaged them? I don't think we have. I I have. Oh, okay, I okay. I know the with, first time we did the, uh, we did ask because we wanted to make sure. Yeah. You know we don't yeah. want to come in with and a camera and people are like, "Who the fuck are these guys?" Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, with the first one that we went to, uh, right after we, I did the Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, I had messaged them. And asked if we could record, and they're like, "Yeah, no, no problem." And then uh, before the uh, the portable one that we went to as well. Oh, another sh- uh, shout out to Alex Farfan. That guy's fucking cool. Too. Yes, um, yes. We've been uh, meaning to do a podcast with you. If you're watching, uh, this guy's got to get a hold of you some somehow, some way. And yeah, just with it, everything been so crazy. Um, I, I, yeah, and that that getting paid less thing sucks. Trust me. Makes it harder for us to do the things that we had planned to do Shit, at one point we were talking about going to disneyland and recording all that and and doing a bunch of stuff yeah. like that you know and um, uh take taking like a a four-day cruise with the crew yeah um the stuff that, doing that no this is stuff we're uh, still thinking about doing yeah we just can't afford to do uh, it right now going on a camping trip you know with with the crew that's local i mean i know uh ice cold in the in the midwest um so he, I mean, if he could come out, that would be awesome. But oh, it'd be a hell of a trip, um, right? Get ice cold drunk. Yeah, he he'd learn how to drink. I'd teach him. <laughs> well, I think he knows how to drink. I just think we'd teach him how to drink a little harder. Oh, we teach him how to get drunk. <laughs> uh, perpetually. <laughs> oh, especially um, if Dread was there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Last, I want to say it was last year. We went up last July up to Mount Madonna. Mm-hmm. Um, up towards the Bay Area, and we were up there for like three or four days. And uh, every night, dude, we were playing games. Uh, I mean, we played Magic all day long, but then at night around the campfire, we'd play like one night Werewolf, 
Um, freaking love that game. I was having dreams about that game. Well, let's right let's now, talk about Hulu and Netflix right now. What are you watching? Right now, I am hooked on Vikings. Okay, I gotta. I, that's on my queue. And after that, I'm watching Cobra Kai, which we've. Which yeah, shout out to yeah. all you guys out there because you. Were, I've been told. I've almost borderline begged to do it, but I just didn't have an account on Amazon, like or not Amazon on. Uh, you, I didn't have the YouTube Plus or whatever it's called, to where I could watch Cobra Kai, even if the first season was free. Like I didn't want to be cock teased. Who wants to see like one season and not be able to right. binge it? So right. now I can go on Netflix and I'll binge it. So we'll have a podcast on Cobra Kai. Before the end of the season. Yeah. 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 And we, um, I mean, there's other things we want to talk about, like what, what's yeah, Umbrella that, Academy and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, Umbrella Academy. Got to get wild uh, to watch that. Mm-hmm. Um, Ice Cold's almost done with the second season. Uh, I binge watched the second season immediately because it's so good. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, no. As soon as I finish Vikings, I'm going to be watching Cobra Kai for that podcast. Good, because um, I'm, I'm going to watch that. I think uh, I'm going to have probably going to see if uh, uh, Monster will watch it, and you mean Monster can do it? Because uh, I've the lo- first time we did, I think it was me, uh, Gambit, and I think True. We've so many podcasts, so many episodes, so many people. So 133. This one's 133. So we're almost we're coming up on five years, which our five year anniversary is going to be September 21st. Yeah, and that's going to be cool. Expect the video then. So as of yep. tomorrow, that will drop. Basically, going to talk about our favorite podcasts, and it won't be very long, but it'll be you know, our, our favorite moments. Yes. Since the beginning. Yes. In the podcast, especially in this case. Um, I mean, there's a lot of favorite moments I have in the beginning, like doing uh, the, a lot of the skits. I have a lot of good memories about, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, doing, doing, uh, especially doing like games from the crypt is always fun. Like the, we always have a blast doing that stuff. Dude, which games from the crypt is so much fun, and you know, the when Wild came to me about games from the crypt, I was like. Okay, I kind of see where you're go, where you're wanting to go with this. Let me come over. We'll talk. We'll figure stuff out. I came over. He showed me what he was wanting to do, and I was like, "Okay, let me go to my car. Let me grab a few things. Let's get things done." And within five minutes, Wild like, "I would have never thought of that. Well, Let's the, fucking do it." The, 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 <laughs> the, well, one the thing I asked string. you for was a fishing string. I knew for a fact we could do yeah. that because me and Maximus yeah. did that years ago. Made uh, yeah, 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 but the the um, face well, mask. We had done thing. that at we had done that at um, the uh, haunted house that Maximus had. Yeah, the face mask thing is what you got me with. I was like, yeah, I never thought yeah. to wear one of those, you know. And then and in the the last yeah. year, we didn't have that, so we we used a shirt. And the way we used a shirt, like I felt so stupid. I was like, shit, we could have just did this before, like. Right. Right. But, so, I mean, okay, so last year it was a lot easier, too, because we had Monster, Monster there. I mean, the, the year before, um, I mean, I was running lights, camera, sound. Everything, everything. I was, uh, I was in costume. The smoke machine. Uh, I was running uh, everything. Yeah, I was in uh, costume. I, was, for, I couldn't really see her. Wild. I couldn't see anything. Yeah. Like the yeah, that and mask it, is literally two masks put together. It's the two of the same mask. It's just one, one on one side, one on the other. And then I move my jaw and it moves. Like I did that. I found that out by accident one day. I was wearing it just to yeah. be funny. So. But if it, if it wasn't for Monster being there last year, oh man, it made things so much easier. I mean, all I had to do was run sound. And Jimmy Bones and the, the fog machine. Fog machine, which, and you know, I mean, but that was a lot easier than having to try to everything. run all those and the lights. Well, imagine doing and that by yourself. Camera. Why do you think I want you to want right. your help? Like it's right. a lot of work. Right. Yeah. I've had to and do it with other now things. Now we've, and now we've got more things. We've got the green screens. We've got, uh, you know, the better lighting. We've got better sound. 
There's, uh, there's a better been some fog money put machine. Into stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's been some money put into stuff, but thank God at the time I had the money. So. Uh, yeah. But speaking yeah. of games from the crypt, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and explain. We're not having one this year. Yeah, we're we're going to take a hiatus from games from the crypt. What we're what we agreed upon is we're going to do it every other year. Uh, there's well, a reason yeah. we're not doing it this year, though. Uh, that's because one, uh, people got injured. Poor monster uh, has his had his knee injury, and I think Grizzly, you hurt yourself at work at one point. Oh uh, yeah, a couple times. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's just hard for everyone to get together, and we usually yeah, have to, we usually yeah. like to record maybe a month in advance. So that mm. we can have everything done and and, and, and and it's out and it's set and by then I I've learned the hard way not to do things last minute. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I mean what the last season and a half, not counting this season. Like four and um, five. We were doing podcasts Friday night and getting them out Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um and now we're doing them a little bit in advance. And it's making things a lot easier, a lot more stress-free. We're learning. On, on Wild, who is doing a majority of the editing and all that right now. We're learning, um, yeah. And I'm, I'm, and like I've said in the past, I'm a nerd-working nerd. I go to work. I, you know, I, I do everything like everyone else does. You know, during, even during the pandemic, I was what's the word uh, essential. So I had to still, yeah. I still had to go to work and do my thing and uh so you i mean it wasn't as bad because it was a little quieter but at the same time like i i gotta find time in the day to edit and, you know, stuff like mm-hmm. that you know and on top of that i'm always looking for gameplay or games i can play to add to the gameplays to the to the channel to to bring uh, more content your direction and all that stuff so so we're gonna probably do the uh, games from the crypt every other year but we, we are planning oh, on we are planning. making the games from the crypt next year bigger and better. Oh yeah, every year I'm I'm oh. hoping to go bigger and better. But we got plans. Like we did a a, a crew meeting. I want to say last month. Yes, the and middle of last month. We we came up with some ideas for for games from the crypt that I think everyone's gonna like. And I'd love and to I do like more. I like the fact that we've got. Um, the crew members that we have now, not not saying anything bad about the ones that we've had in the past, are eager to give insight, to give suggestions, yeah. to give, uh, and to help out. And, and and that's not to say anything bad about anybody that has been in the crew in the past, because they've the, the ones that have been with us in the past have had, had very busy lives, um, and you know, like we always say. Life comes first. Life we is don't a do, thing. We, we don't do the podcast. We don't do everything for our job. We do it for fun. Yeah. Um, it's our hobby. It's, it's what we enjoy doing. Life happens. Life well, I mean, if I, comes if I don't make money, I don't have a house to do a podcast or a show in, in general. Exactly. So, you exactly. Know, I'm, sh- I'm sure most of the adults out there that watch us know what, where we're coming from. So. Yeah, yeah. And just the way things are right now with this pandemic, a lot of us are at home because that's where we're stuck. Uh, so we've got time to do things. Yeah. We've got time to, you know, play more games, to get a bit farther ahead with podcasts. Uh, we're able to get together a lot more often to get things done. That's about the only upside to this bullshit that's been going on in this world this year. I mean... 2020 has been a hell of a year. You know, I, I saw this meme. It was um, these different numbers saying how they're so bad. Like 13. You know, the unlucky 13. I'm the worst number there is. And then 666. Oh, you think you got it bad, kid? And then 2020. Sit down, kids. Let me teach you something. Let me tell you the story <laughs> of my people. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Yeah, 2020 has been... Like, my joke, I, I did this on my Facebook for all, my joke was, like, mostly, like, the finale of 2020 was, like, a meteor hitting Earth. 
no uh, games from the crypt this year, but we do have plans for the future. We are gonna do. We're, if we can, we're gonna do some more uh, Dead by Daylight. I think. Yes. We're gonna yes, do for, uh, um, more Fright Night Fridays. I know what the last two years since it's been out, when we've done it, it has gone very well. A lot of people um, have been asking me about it. Believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, um, I'll, I'll be streaming on just, just on my PlayStation, and I'll have someone come on. Hey, when are you guys gonna do more, uh, more Dead by Daylight? And yeah. you know, I really want to get uh, Baby Girl Doom in on it. She was in it last year. I remember when we did it. Yeah, and it got so many. It's hilarious listening to positive things, and you know, people weren't just commenting on the videos. They were hitting us up on Twitter. They were sending wild and I messages um, and stuff like private that. messages on Facebook. That's so hilarious. You need to do more scary stuff I'd with her. Like her to get reactions her, are so good. I'd like to get her on my VR to do some of the yes. scary. Yes, but she's been she's yes. been busy too, which is hence why you haven't really seen much of her lately. Yeah, she's been very busy. She's been doing a bunch of stuff. She's got her own life going on. She got she's got to take care of what she's got to take care of, and it's just what it is. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. She even has her own business going right now, so that's yeah, that's a yeah. thing. You know, she's got she's trying. So she's to survive. a very busy individual. Yeah, yeah. very busy. Um, but we we do have something that we're we're trying to get together. Uh, that we're trying to put together, rather, for a spot filler for the off years of Games from the Crypt. Yeah. Uh, so every other year, we're going to have Games from the Crypt. Those in-between years, we're trying to put something together. Kind of similar, but uh, more of just gameplay without the narrator. Uh, we even thought of something... Uh Maybe that involves monster, uh, that's kind of close along the lines of uh, Thirteen Nights of Coal in your stocking. I think this was called, mm -hmm. and uh, it was it involved True Colnell, and that was really f that was really fun when we when we did that. And I'd like to do more skits. I'd like to do. The problem is, is 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 skits involve time, and people, and it's just it's. You know, sometimes people say they can do stuff and they can't because life and, and pandemic. Because of and life, issues. yeah. I'll let you know right now something that Wild and I have been talking about. We want to do something special the first week in October. I mean, as you know, for those of you that have been around with us uh, for a while, the last couple seasons, um, October's our big month to get stuff done. Oh, we uh, love it. I, I'm a huge fan. October's all Halloween to me. Oh yeah, yeah. So, um, and since we're wanting to do, we're planning on doing something special for everybody's birthday. Um, we did something special for Monster's birthday. Um, we still got to do something special for Ice Cold. Yeah, we. I think we. For, um, I think we missed Baby Girl of Dooms. She was. Yeah, she she was out of town and she's been yeah. super freaking busy since yeah. then. Uh, but we are still Happy planning on doing something birthday. for that. Yes. And I'm actually going to be on vacation for mine. So we've decided that we're going to do something special uh, the first week in October. And Not 100% sure what it is yet. What we're throwing around is the possibility of a live stream podcast with Wild and I sitting on the same couch, drinking alcohol, talking to you guys. On Facebook, we're going to be we're talking about streaming on Facebook. Mark it on your calendars. First week in October, um, probably what would you say? Probably a Friday, Saturday night. To be continued. I'm not sure. We'll figure Somewhere that around out. There. We'll figure that. Uh, it all depends on what's going on in October and work and all that other stuff. Yeah, but uh, it will be the first week in October. There will be something special. We'll the first know. We'll week know October. soon, and we'll we'll advertise it. I don't think um, we do any. We've never done anything for my birthday in particular. Nothing that we've recorded. Nothing that we've recorded. <laughs> no. no. But I mean, there was that. Uh, what your birthday two years ago, where uh, you, me, and Monster played for like two days straight on video games. Yeah, like just swapping no. forth. Back and forth between uh, <laughs> that was also, Red Dead and uh, GTA Five. I think that was also a birthday when, like, I think on the day of my birthday, uh, P Rock and Hashtag fucking got me drunk. 
Mm-hmm. Went to, we went yep. to like a town mm-hmm. close to here and uh, got super fucking hammered and beautiful. It was just, it was a good, that was a good birthday. And played for two yeah. days with you guys. Yeah, yeah, because I, <coughs> the day before, I, got, I just got Red Dead. It's more game I know you guys plays. haven't seen very much gameplay from me. Um, I moved in March and still don't have internet. Uh, and with this whole pandemic thing is, uh, but once I do get internet, you will see plenty of gameplay from me. But yeah, there's also like, what you guys have any games you want us to play? Like, let me know. I just we just got done doing uh, Saturday morning RPG, which I really enjoyed. Uh, that was a really fun game. Well, I'm, I'm thinking about doing streaming again. I got really got a problem. I reason I haven't been streaming because I'm really close to beating Final Fantasy uh, four, two in America. Uh, but I, I haven't <laughs> streamed because I've been having a lot of like videos come out lately and I don't want them to come out at the same day. Like I'm, I don't want to overwhelm people with videos. So I've been kind of waiting. And on top of that, like work and everything just kind of hit full fledged again. And I'm kind of, uh, yeah, I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to do before I do any of that. But I know that we've got a lot of plans for the future. You know, once I get internet, we've got plans for a shitload of games to do. Once I get a computer... We've got plans for a shitload of games to do. I think uh, Nani, and that's someone I, I know that it, you know, uh, yeah. asked us, and I, the only reason I'm calling her by the name is that's her name on Facebook and, and YouTube. Mm-hmm. It, as had asked us to, uh, Nani had asked us to play uh, Final Fantasy VII, and I actually got Final Fantasy VII again on my Switch, not the remake, the old the original. one. Original. And I got it on my Switch, and I just played through it and beat it again, and I'm thinking about just doing a playthrough of that. That could be fun. Do it. Yeah, um, I went over there the other day, and uh, we played some played some games, me, her, and uh, American Idol. Every time I go over, she's like, so when are you guys putting new stuff out? You know, what's the next podcast about? It's nice. I mean, yeah, they're very close friends of mine. I mean, they're... <clears throat> I mean, they, they asked me to get ordained to marry them to oh, officiate yeah. their wedding. You're you're so ordained that, now. That, that's right. You're Reverend yeah, Grizzly that, McBee. That's why at the the beginning of the podcast, I introduced myself as Reverend Grizzly McBee because I am ordained. We uh, do weddings now, guys. Yeah, I mean, if you want me to do your wedding, just uh, pay for my flight and my hotel and alcohol and. Or you can just do it online. Do it. Good old Discord. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Good. You're married. Had shot of fucking alcohol. I mean, I've got a whole like the whole service like lined up like the template that they gave me beautiful so so you got a plan um, but yeah he's, he's reverend grizzly mcbee now but yeah i mean they're great friends of mine and the fact that they enjoy watching our content as much as wild and i enjoy making it it just it, it's amazing i mean the fact that i have fans that are friends um, you know, they were friends first, and then, you know, uh, Wild came out for, for a party, and I introduced them, and now they're watching all of our stuff, always asking me when we're putting new stuff out, you know, what's coming up next, you know, um, asking you to, to play a certain game. There's a lot of stuff that, that Wild and I have been talking about for the last couple of years that we're wanting to do. It's just having the money and having the time to be able to do it getting to um, doing it yeah it's you know because we're, we're actually wanting to do some like super nerdy stuff like um record a D campaign um uh we've been talking you know, about that ev- since day with one everyone sitting around the table um and other plans cameras. and other plans yeah. i won't go too far have, it, yeah you know the fact that we both love Magic the Gathering, you know, trying to uh, record some some gameplay of that with people actually sitting around an actual table and playing, you know, and when well, we do I've D&D, it's, it's not, you know, an hour or two at a time, it's, you know, 12, 15, 18 hours plus at a time, you know, we I got mean, the booms, we got the, the, the personalized mics, yeah, and, I've, you know, we, one of the, some backstory here with that like the first time we went to a comic-con we and we tried to uh interview people 
the the microphone we used for the camera there just just was why I, if you watch the videos you'll know it was horrible like it caught everything around him you could barely hear i had to put little chat things on the bottom so that we could so you could hear what people said and even then i had to listen and like those, this and those were the only usable ones yes i think out of that comic-con we got six maybe seven usable interviews and we interviewed probably 40 50 people i wouldn't say 40 or 50. i'd say maybe. more like i'd say more like 20 i'd half that but yes we we interviewed well, quite a few people we interviewed a lot and then uh you know going through it you were like man i this is not you well, and, you couldn't hear anything and the card like maximus interviewed i was holding the camera a few times and it just didn't record like the, it was yeah, he hit it, record it i watched him do record. it Mm -hmm. But like uh, the card wasn't yeah. working. The card was fucked. The little card that came that I had it in it was fucked up. So I started looking for personal mics that you can clip to your shirt, and, and I spent I wouldn't say a small mint, but I spent a good amount of money on that, and I uh, was yeah. very happy. I'm ha I am ha I've used them for other videos too, and they they work really well. They're well, very we picky, you, uh, but they work. We well. had you mic'd up uh, with one of those. Uh, last year when we did the Games from the Crypt. Yes, I believe so. And that so. worked perfectly. In well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had me mic'd up too because we had taken the um, the microphone off the camera mm -hmm. because it it wouldn't sit it was, on there right. Well, it was it was it was pulling in the the sound from the AC. Mm -hmm. That was the issue. So fun. You're getting so some fun. background it's here of us at Nerd is the New Sexy on this episode. You know, every time a Wild and I do a nerd talk, you guys will learn more and more about the background stuff that we do. It, we have so much fun doing it. Of course, there's uh, uh, Sea of Thieves. Those videos I'm trying to continue uh, to come out. The Sea of Thieves game is always fun. This poor guy wants to play, but oh, one, play so bad. I no internet a, or a PC. No internet or a PC. But yeah, because we've talked about... Um, doing Sea of Thieves with the crew. We've talked about doing a, a You're Dead, You're Dead style survival game mm -hmm. in uh, in the forest, as well as even trying to do it on Minecraft. Yeah. Um, and those are things that you might still see in the future. A lot of people have been asking uh, for the past, what, two years now? Uh for me to do another Doki Doki style game. Well, not the horror, but maybe no, a ju just like the, the the style, like, about, a, like a, a dating a, sim a dating or something sim. like that. And I was, yeah. you know, I was I was looking through the internet and, and I noticed that my buddy Sunrise, he's been playing like this thing where you gotta like romance Colonel Sanders, and I'm thinking maybe we should get you into that. I'll romance the shit out of Colonel Sanders for some extra. You gotta, coffee. you gotta do it with your. We gotta do it with your cooking. Can you go? Can you cook your way into Colonel Sanders' pants? I can barbecue my way into his pants, but. Either way, either way, it's it's a thought. Like the, there's that, and then we maybe we can do some other stuff where there's a shit ton of dating sims out there. Yeah. There's the possibility of dating sims, and we'll get you maybe get you on another one, and who knows. Maybe you'll get a girl that's not psycho. Fuck you, Monica. Don't bitch. Looking at you, Monica. <laughs> Looking at you. I don't, I don't remember where I was. I was with somebody. We went somewhere, and uh, these two chicks came up, and they were talking to it. I think it was whenever I went to Idaho with, with some of the guys. Um, and we were at a bar, and uh, a couple chicks came up, and they started talking to this guy. And uh, she's like, oh, hey, by the way, my name's Monica. And I was like, peace. Run! Fucking, I just fucking walked out. Run, <laughs> motherfucker! Like, no. You know, 140 is going to be the end of the season, and then we'll take our hiatus like we always do, come up with some ideas for the season after that, which we're already starting to do that. Um, yeah, we've already got some ideas. And like always, uh, between seasons, we're always going to have other podcasts pop up. Oh, yeah. You know, update podcasts. We've talked about 
doing a couple live stream podcasts uh, during the hiatus uh, to get you guys a little bit more interactive. Ask us some questions. We can answer them. Stuff like that. I'd like to do some more uh, Super Booze Brothers. Yes. I mean, yes. Uh, and, I, and I'll tell you a little backstory about that. Like, that, that video was impromptu. Like, P-Rock sent me this, I, like I said in the video, he sent me this text, and he's like, look what I, I'm bringing you. And we're just going to drink it. We weren't going to do a video on it. We're just sitting there, we're going, we should do a video on this. So, like, literally, one of his one of the wives held the phone, and we did a video. Speaking of that, have you uh, gotten to try that peanut butter whiskey I was telling you about yet? No. Might be something we'll have to uh, check out. Oh, you're going to show it to me? Do you have some? Because you know I love me some peanut butter. Holy shit. Screwball. Screwball. And it tastes just like peanut butter. I can tell you like it because it's almost gone. Uh, yeah, no, that that's that's my better half. Um, I've had maybe a shot of, out oh. of that bottle. I can tell she likes and, it because uh, it's almost She's gone. had it for, I don't know, three days. And she's only been here for one of those three days. So. <laughs> Well, I have, if I had to uh, hang out with you, I'd drink too. Well, yeah, that's because I'd be drinking. You'd exactly. be left oh, out. I mean, fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we're good for this podcast, guys. We want to thank you for watching. Thank and you. listening. So, if you guys have any great ideas on podcasts, or maybe just want us to review your favorite movie or game, if you have any ideas for live streams, games, what have you, or want to just say hi, there's a number you can call. We won't answer, but we will get your message. And that number is 559-997-6803. Again, that number to call is 559-997-6803. Give us a ring. Say hi. Leave us a message. Or you can just leave a message in the comments below. But, uh, please leave a comment. Good or bad. Don't matter to us. Uh... Hit that like button. If you liked it. Uh, if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you feel like subscribing. You want to hear more of our stuff. You know what else uh, you can do? And hit Ring that bell. bell. Ring my bell. Oh, with that said and done, guys, we'll see you next week on episode 134. Till then, we want you to stay nerdy. And stay sexy. Always.